who's been sent to wage war on the enemy, I want you to take a minute and let me know I'm talking to the right person. Because you've been called to wage war, then you cannot afford to be defeated at the same time. If things are happening in your life, if things are happening in your family and in your generation and in your community, you are meant to wage war. And God said, it's time for you to get on fire again. It's time for you to get passionate again. Your existence was meant to wage war on the enemy against generational curses, against that thing that the enemy said you could not do, against the rule of darkness. Amen, amen. And if you are meant to wage war and you sit back and stay in bondage and not recognizing the power you possess, then the enemy is going to know how to attack you. The enemy wants to play tricks on our mind by making us think the thing that they said to us and the thing they did to us, it was little and it was small and it was inconsequential. But I hear God saying it was war. And that war starts as a seed seed. And what started as a whisper, a whispering down in your spirit. And just like that teacher, that statement that she made to me, even though it was subtle, amen, it was negative, amen. And I took root of it, hallelujah, and it ruled my life for years. So what has taken dominion in your life? It may not be the same thing that took dominion in mine, but what has taken dominion in your life? I feel like God is trying to wake up the people of heaven. He's trying to wake up the citizens of the kingdom. He's trying to wake us up that we can show up, and we can show up with intentionality, and we can show up with laser focus to defeat the giants that have set up strongholds in our life. 